hello and welcome back to another new video it is snowing today this is crazy can you guys see that it is snowing against my black shirt yeah look at that it's snowing that is crazy it rarely ever snows in our hometown here in japan so that is really cool today however i've got a project i want to do outside so we're going to be working in the snow hopefully if it snows uh for the rest of the day but right here you can see this is the room the back room the back door to my mini fish room so uh, the tanks are in here the two aquascape tanks are in here the 60 centimeters on this side the 120 centimeters on this side and we have a window right here but I need to build a drain system so when I do water changes I want a drain to come out and all the way into the main drain that is over here I actually wanted to put a drain out so that I could water all these plants my aunt doesn't want that my aunt says just dump all the water and I told her that fish tank water is amazing for plants but she this is her yard we're in her backyard right now and uh, I don't know she gets to decide so I'm just gonna throw the water out it's a waste but it's gonna go somewhere maybe someday in the future I can persuade her to water all these plants so I'll go inside and I'll show you what it looks like from there all right so here we are are you ready to see the fish room nothing much has changed since the last time. It's only been five days since I planted this tank right here. Um, and you can see the plants have grown a little bit. I've added the blixas in, looking good. There's still an open gap here. I really wanted to add more blixas, but uh, if I can find them, I'll get some. But for now, I'll just let it grow. The glossostigma has already been growing. Check that out. It's been spreading runners. And it's only been five days, so I'm really excited to see the growth. Look at the Rotella Vietnam at the back. Yeah, but I've added a few Bulbitis in here as well. I've got to add more Epiphyte plants into this tank. So that is the 120 cm four foot tank. I'm really looking forward to seeing the plants grow in more. And if you look at the back, I've added some of that Aerocolon feather duster. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited but scared because I feel like I'm gonna screw everything up later on. Uh, right here, this is the window I was showing you from the outside earlier. Let's open this up. So you can see that is where I was standing just a few moments ago talking about the snow and it's still snowing, that's amazing. Of course it's still snowing, but all right. So I'm gonna build a PVC drain right here, somewhere around here and I'm gonna have it go down all the way all the way somewhere over there so that I can drain all the water and when I do water changes I'll just have a hose put the hose into the PVC pipe and let all the water drain out uh, I hope that is easy to understand and then I will also make one on that side the same PVC pipe except I'll have one like connecting part that goes in from here so when I do water changes on my 60 centimeter tank I can drain the water out into the PVC pipe as well. When you use ADA Amazonia soil it is almost 100% guaranteed that you're gonna get algae in the first few weeks. Right now it's still the first week so there's not much algae but soon like next week and the week after week two and week three there's gonna be a ton of algae in this tank I can guarantee it it's not gonna be fun but it's a normal process and this tank in a few weeks is just gonna get covered in algae and there's really nothing much I can do about it except keep up with maintenance the aquariums at the aqua design Amano gallery also go through this algae phase and even aquariums at ADA fish stores go through this algae problem and it's completely normal because you're using soil with so much nutrients in them it's going to release a lot of ammonia and algae is going to form everywhere so the first few weeks you really shouldn't put any fish and you should wait until everything is settled so i'm going to head over to the home center look for some pvc pipes and some other stuff that i will need for this little project and check this out my co2 diffuser has arrived it looks like the twin star co2 diffuser but it's not i think it's just a japanese brand they just had the same product and they rebranded it and yeah it is looking really really nice i love the fine bubbles so many pvc pipes to choose from all right i'm gonna take a look and see which ones i need all the parts as well and I'll get back to you in just a moment. Alright so these are mostly 
the things I need one long PVC pipe and some connectors and now it's time to pick out some cinder blocks they're all over there so all right cinder blocks are now in I got a total of four of them let's get back home all right so I'm back out here I've got my shovel uh, these are the concrete blocks that I just brought back I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of them right here I just moved this stepping stone this thing was right here and it wasn't really stable so I moved it out of the way I probably won't be using this I want to keep this one here though because this is quite stable and I can use this to get in and out of the mini studio so I'm gonna keep this one here it's really stable doesn't move at all so that's good and I'm going to put some cinder blocks up here and try to slope the drain going down Alright, it's mostly complete. I've got my cinder blocks in place. This is one that we just got today. And then this one right here is one that I just found sitting around. It was shorter than the others and it was just the perfect size for it to go over there. So that's why I use that. Over here, this one, it's really solid. It doesn't look like it's in place, but I've put a slate underneath and it doesn't move at all. So this thing is solid. So this PVC pipe will go like this so it sits on the top and then it goes down and then it'll go down and sit on that small one over there and then it'll go out into the drain and if we look at the drain it's really a mess right now I've got to cut all these grass away but yeah this is the drain that we've got kind of messy but I'm gonna clean this place up. This area of the house, the backyard, has, hasn't been used in a very long time so I'm kind of cleaning it up as we go. You can see a fence right here. This thing hasn't been used in a while so it's just sitting here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Probably find a spot for it. For now, I'm focusing on this so you can probably tell it stopped snowing. Now I can work a little bit easier. It's not as cold as it was earlier. And one really stupid thing I did is I didn't buy enough PVC. I thought this was long enough, but clearly you can see it's not long enough. I need like another one to go all the way to the drain. So that's kind of dumb. And I have a few elbows, but I probably need more than that. So I'm probably going to have to go back to the home center. A few moments later. I'm back and I got a few extra parts. Hopefully what I have here is enough. But I really should have just bought one 4 meter long PVC pipe instead of buying two 2 meter PVC pipes. It would have saved me a few dollars. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put everything together and hope that it works. <music> right. It just was enough. Look at that. It goes all the way to the drain here. I can probably put an elbow there if I wanted to, but I don't need to. So that is it. I really wish that there was enough for me to put something out of here so I don't have to reach all the way to put the hose in. But uh, for now it'll work. I'll come back tomorrow as we're losing daylight. It's winter now. It looks bright, but that's because the camera settings are set to bright. But it's winter now, so it gets dark early and the tank uh, can wait another day for sure. A few days have gone by. I haven't really been able to film because of the New Year's. While I'm recording this right now, it is January 6th. So you can see the plants have grown in quite a bit from the last time. Let's take a look at the Glossostigma carpet. You can see it's spreading out a lot more. And the stem plants as well in the back. You can see this oil film. Yeah, that's what happens when you put a lot of soil. And algae is starting to form on the glass, on the driftwood as well, so uh, it's pretty normal. I've been doing some maintenance like scraping the glass, the algae off and stuff and look at this driftwood. Look at all the algae and bacteria that's on there, so yeah, gotta do more maintenance. Look at the stem plants though, the Rotala Rotundifolia green and the Rotala Ceylon and then there's Nansei on there, uh, kind of hard to focus but yeah, the plants are all doing really, really well. Check out this side, the Vietnam and the Rotella rotundifolia. 
and the hygrophila polysperma. Man, the polysperma is red color, that's crazy. It's a green color plant, but I'm guessing because of the strong lights. So, yeah, the drain, if you guys are wondering, is finished. Well, 90% finished. I just have to do some modifications right here. I just stick a pipe out a little bit longer so then I can put the hose in easier. And on that side as well, for my 60 centimeter tank. And then it goes all the way into the drain. So everything is working really well. I've glued everything together just now. So now it's time to test it out. All right, so right here, you can see that I'm siphoning the tank. Uh, I'm gonna take out around 50, 40 to 50% of the water. I clean the glass and everything is looking pretty good. I'm trying to take out as much of this surface film as I can by skimming the top, uh, but that'll go away on its own in the future, I hope. Let's take a look at the drain. Oh, so it's, it's overflowing a little bit here. Yeah, so this is why I kind of want a pipe that sticks out, so you can see the water is just making it in. But let's go and take a look at how everything is working. Alright, so you can see that. That's not a leak right there, it's just this thing dripping down, so you got to put that further inside, like that. That's better. And then it comes down here. So this again is for my 60 centimeter. You can see the water flowing in there. Pretty cool. And it goes all the way down into the drain. That is awesome. And I should put an elbow that goes down, kind of like this one. This is for the roof of the house. So yeah, if I have an elbow that goes down, that would be even better. But for now, this works really well I'm really happy with this and the good thing is that this thing doesn't really move around so it's not gonna fall over and if it does I can just secure it to the wall but I didn't want to drill anything into the walls because I don't know I just don't find the need to do that so this is really good for now really really satisfied with this I'm really happy all right I'm gonna drain the water a little bit more take my shoes off get in the house and it's cold outside so I gotta close this so I can close it just like that perfect and yeah gonna continue draining and I'll see you guys in a little while There it is, the tank is looking really, really clean, except for the sponge right here. Look at that. All of that would have gone into the filter if I hadn't had put this wool, so I'm glad I did that. And I'm gonna have to start trimming uh, some of this Hygrophila polysperma soon because it is growing quite tall. It's a fast growing plant, pretty easy plant, and it's covering some of the Rotella rotundifolia, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for that. But this tank is almost complete. I just have a few more plants to add, and then we just have to wait and watch it grow. Once again, I'm insanely happy with how this DIY drain came out. It might not look the best, but maybe once we cover this area with some plants, I think it'll look more natural and maybe even look good. So I'm excited about that. The drain is mostly for function because for some reason my aunt doesn't want me to water her plants. So there's nothing really I can do about that. But as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did like squad, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and I will see you next time.